So what happened? It broke. <laughs> it did break, huh? How did it break? Do you know? No. Yeah, this is what happens when you try to take off with a tailwind. Let me tell you how it happened. So the winds were so light and the thermals are breaking off at different points in the field. You lay your wing out and then you have a tailwind. So you shift your wing and then you still have a tailwind. So you shift your wing back and you still have a tailwind. And then you get so frustrated that you just try to take off anyway with a tailwind. And this is the result. <laughs> oh, I, but, but why did it break? Because the propeller hit it. Let me show you that. So here's the prop. This is a Glider Sports um, prop. And uh, this is where the propeller hit the aluminum spar right here. That's it. It also did this damage here where like the propeller tried to break and you can see and hear it flexing. We're gonna cut this open in a second and we're gonna see the construction of this prop. So check this out. This is the gravity paramotor prop. This is all foam construction. Uh, it's a very stiff foam. You can see it's like very hard. This is like epoxy and there was it was really hard to cut through this part. So there might be some kind of um, dyneema or something here, not sure. Here's the uh, tip of the blade. Yeah, um, I tried to take off with a tailwind. I didn't get enough lift. So basically I launched like this, I'm running. I actually, I actually started to abort the takeoff. I had let go of the throttle and I was trying to slow down. I let go of the throttle, I was on the brakes, I was trying to slow down. But I think just the weight and the inertia of the motor on my back tried to overtake me. Yeah. And, and that um, broke. That did break. Yep. And so the motor basically twisted me like this as I'm trying to stop. And then I fell. I fell down and I hit, I hit the bottom hoop right here. This far. The broken spar is actually this one right here you can see I'm missing this spar um, but I I put a good spar down here so that the motor could still stand up on its own so I already swapped this so the prop hit the spar right here and broke this piece off that's it the prop only hit this the hoop didn't bend at all the only thing that bent was this and the propeller broke I hit up the guys from Gravity and Glider Sports. And I said, hey, I'm a dummy and took over the tailwind and busted this, so can you guys send me a new part? They're like, yeah, sure. Um, let's say we have a couple options for you because I have a Gen 1 Gravity Paramotor. And since then, they've changed the design, right? They came out with new spars. These are new ones. And um, Garrett from Glider Sports was like, hey, we have the new ones, if you want those, uh, you buy one spar and then we'll send you the other four, actually we'll send you a set of five for the new ones and you send your four good spars back to us. So uh, shout out to those guys, man, for um, quick, fast, really good customer service. Anyway, I'm super happy to have the new spars. These have a less of an arc to them. So the hoop is actually further forward and it gives you a uh, larger clearance between the propeller and the hoop and I'll, I'll show you guys that. So um, yeah, if you crash your gravity, super tough paramotor. I'm very, very pleased with how well it held up to the crash. You know, it was, a, it was a pretty hard hit and yeah, I broke one spar and a prop and the hoop didn't even bend. That's, that's pretty impressive. So I've got to take these two Durlin pieces of plastic off and um, install it on the new one.
I think I got it. Let me show you how. Let me get it out real quick. I've been struggling with this for the past 15 minutes, probably. So, if you been to spar on your gravity, I'd recommend buying new Durlin pieces as well, the black uh, pieces of plastic. So you don't have to do 15 minutes of struggling. Got it out. Alright, so basically what I had to do was drill a hole into the Durlin where the um, where the nut is. Because the issue is the nut that's inside of here. Yeah, there's a silver nut in there. When I was loosening the bolt, the nut was just spinning. So the whole thing was just spinning inside. And I couldn't loosen the bolt to get these two pieces off. So I drilled I drilled a couple holes in the aluminum first, trying that. But then I just drilled straight into the Durlin. There's a little hole there. And I put, I had a broken drill bit from trying to drill the holes earlier. Put the drill bit in there. Once I got to the nut, and then I pinched it with channel locks like this, like you saw. And uh, that was enough force to keep the nut from spinning while I backed the bolt out. Oh, it looks like I drilled into the bolt a little bit. It's okay, it'll be fine. And now, the nut's still in there, but I'm gonna clean this up and then install it in the new one. So this is the this is the nut that I was telling you about. This is the nut that's inside this little plastic tube. If you've built your gravity, you've probably seen this. This design is great for quick assembly. It's really easy, but for removing, there's there's no there's hardly any way to grab this tool. So if you have to take these apart, it's kind of a pain. So take note of the clearance between the propeller in the hoop section here, how far apart that is, All right? And then um, after this, I'll show you the difference in the spars. So here's the comparison of one of the old spars versus the new ones. I have these ends lined up, where they go into the, uh, the tank. And then you can just see it's just like about an inch, about an inch further up on the newer one. The hoop is a different size. Now we get more clearance between the prop and the hoop section. About an inch. You get about an inch more space. So I'm going to fix the netting back up. That's pretty boring. I won't make you watch that. I'm just going to put all the netting back, tension it down again. And yeah, so uh, here's a pro for the gravity paramotor. Um, this thing is super easy to work on. If you break something, super easy to replace. Really happy with it. Still happy with this uh, gravity Defiant paramotor. I think it's a good deal. It's it's strong. It's stronger than my power to fly frames that I had and it's easier to fix than those frames. It is a little bit heavier but it also has a five gallon fuel tank so it's a lot of pros to this motor and um, and the price was also amazing and it's made in America. I could go on and on and on and on. Um, really the only con is it could be lighter weight but it's also not the heaviest motor on the market. Uh, it's kind of in the middle uh, for weight uh, compared to other motors on the market. So super happy with it still. If you didn't see, Dudak came out with a new um, lightweight paramotor harness. Um, hoping to get to try that out soon. It looks really nice and I think it would go really well with this frame. I think it would uh, be the cherry on top of this frame. Oh, um, one more thing. You might have already saw a sneak peek watching this video. But uh, this channel is about to get really exciting because I bought a helicopter. <laughs>
This is a mosquito air sitting behind me in my garage. Well, let me show it to you. So here's the seat. Cyclic. Foot pedals. Collective. Um, so I uh, went a little crazy and drove four days straight to go buy this thing. And uh, yeah, I am super stoked. So I've already started kind of working on it and putting it together, uh, doing some maintenance. I got a, I got new spark plugs on the way. I've got to redo the fuel system, all the lines and everything. But um, it's very, it's a very low hour machine. Let me film. It's a very low hour machine. It doesn't have a lot of hours on it. And uh, everything looks good, man. It's just, just needs a little work to get it back to flying condition. That's it. So, uh, yeah. Stay tuned if you want to see this thing fly because... Test flight's coming up soon, hopefully. Pretty cool. It's a really cool helicopter. Honestly, I'm just pumped to be able to work on this thing and check it out and see how it works and have it in my garage. Um, super lucky. So glad I bought this thing and I found it. This is a Mosquito Air. Super pumped to get, to get this. <laughs> this helicopter fits in my garage. I had to sell the dirt bike to make room for it, but uh, it fits. I have a helicopter in my garage. I have a paramotor and I have multiple wings. Super lucky guy. Um, so yeah, uh, next couple videos. I think I might, uh, I'll go over in more detail on another video, everything I've done to the helicopter. And of course, like the maiden flight, etc., etc., will be really cool to watch. Um, so I'll record that even just for myself so I can go back and watch it. But um, hope you learned something from this video about the gravity paramotor. I wish I had footage of me crashing, but unfortunately I don't. It wasn't uh, very exciting. I just tried to take off with the tailwind. I couldn't run fast enough, tried to abort, and then twisted and fell onto the spar. My prop hit the spar, bent it, and then you saw the repair. So. If you got questions, comments, if you need help with your motor, if you want to buy a motor or a wing, send me a message. You can find me on the Paramotor Facebook group. Send me a message. I'm super happy to help people um, pick the correct wing and wing loading for them. And I enjoy it. I enjoy talking about motors and helping people select the correct gear. And I'm a dealer for Dudek Paragliders. So if you want to buy a Dudek Paraglider, send me a message. Hit me up. And uh, I'll be happy to help you out. So thanks for watching. Peace.